Hey there, folks. Welcome to my year of solo board gaming. Uh, we are on day 46, I think. Uh, yeah, that should be day 46. Yeah, day 46. I'm pretty sure it's day 46. Uh, I may stop including the day numbers with this so I can start to do some of these games out of order. Uh, basically so that I can film things that I have here in the shed at the moment. Uh, which is where I do my lovely board game streaming, as you can see behind me here. I'm just going to do a little, shed, a little panning around. Um, and uh, we are in the middle of Occupational Hazard Week, uh, which means that I'm doing board games that basically represent different occupations. So we started the week off with coffee roasting, uh, then we went on to factory building, and then we went on to zookeeping, and now we are on chocolate factory owning. Uh, so we are currently responsible for making chocolates and selling them to various places that want our chocolates. We are set up with a solo variant, uh, which means that we have some weekly demands to meet. Uh, and the goal of the game is simply to meet our weekly demands. Like, that's it. That's all we have to do. Unfortunately, this is going to be really difficult. Uh, we have a weekly target, which you probably cannot see from there. So I'm going to hold these up as best I can. Um, we've got a weekly target. Let's do it like that. Which basically means that I have to do two additional large corner shops uh, at random and place them beside the weekly. You have to do these these two things here. Plus, you have to do six small ones, uh, and you have to make 40, uh, 40 pounds total. Uh, the first demand that we have here is that we have to get at least two in each department store. Uh, so we have to get up to at least level two here and here. They have to be separate ones. They can't be together. Uh, and so this is going to be pretty difficult. Now, at the start, the way that this is set up is that we're going to be playing through six days. Uh, at the start of each day, including and today is Monday, we're going to flip over one of these other factory managed cards, find out what an additional demand is, and then we're going to draw some employees and some parts, and then we get to choose. Uh, we will not have access to certain employees and parts based on what day of the week it is. So Monday, we don't have whatever part or employee ends up here. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we are fully open. In addition, we'll get a different amount of coal each time. So right now on Monday, we're going to get five coal. And we're going to get uh, three shifts where we'll load up a bean, one of these lovely things, into our little factory here. And we'll do various things to it. And we're allowed to improve the things that we have available to us so that as the week goes on, we'll have better refinement available. But this is going to be tough. The, I hate this one. I honestly hate this one. I really do. Um, but we're not here to talk about that. Uh, this is probably going to be a little difficult to see overall. I'm um, looking at the screen and just it, it looks, everything looks small. So I apologize. And I got a really bad glare here. I'm not sure. Actually, no, why? There's a light right there. So, but unfortunately, I think I need it so that you can see other stuff here. I'm um, still working on how to best do these videos, so at some point maybe I'll take a Skillshare or something like that. But for now, let's get started. Today is Monday. Uh, so the first thing that we do is we flip over the employees. So we've got a miner there, a mechanic, expert operator, dealer, and department store agent. All right, and now the parts that we're going to get, uh, that will convert a barred chocolate into red or two reds. Uh, that just simply doubles something, which is a really nice one. Uh, that will convert a raw bean into a single bar, which would be really nice. Uh, that is going to take and improve some things, and that is going to improve some things. So now the first thing that we do is what we get rid of the part that's here, and we're going to move this employee down to the bottom, and because we don't have access to them. Now, our we're also going to have to get these five coals, and we'll go ahead and line up our shoots here. Now, the expert operator is probably the best thing to go with. Um, move a chocolate from one conveyor tile to any other. You may do this up to three times today. I honestly, I feel like I feel like what I want is I want this employee, the dealer, which means that I can fulfill one of these uh, 
corner shop orders with one less chocolate. So I only need two chocolate to finish this first order here. And I'm going to take this item here, which is going to be a little tricky because I'm not going to have a whole lot of coal left. Now, in this game, in the solo version, you do not have to take, um, you don't have to take the same employee as you do factory part. They don't have to actually line up. And I think actually, as of like right now, this is the first game I'm playing where I did not realize that you, that, that was allowed. But I was rereading the solo rules, and yeah, you don't have to take the same part as you do employee. Uh, so now we're going to head and start our shifts. So first thing that we're going to do is we're going to load this in. Now we can, for two coal, uh, go ahead and use that up. Which, where's my coal? There we go, over there. This will convert this into one of these barred ones. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and move this forward. And we're going to use two coal again. And convert this. And I think you might be seeing a flaw in my plan already. This one's going to go here. I only have one coal left. Now this, I can automatically move down to here, which means I can go ahead and actually sell uh, that this round. Uh, I'm not going to be able to get this into this area, so I'm not going to be able to use the dealer. This was actually kind of a really bad choice for me to take. I'm not very good at this game. Um, yeah, I really should have taken the extra two coal, shouldn't I? Oh, well. Say la vie. Uh, oh, the other thing I could have done... The other thing I could have done is used one extra coal here. Yeah, I should have done that, that at the beginning. I okay, so I'm going to take this back a little bit. I'm going to I'm going to chalk this up to inexperience. Um, I'm going to show you how I should have done this. Sorry, that's just me being stupid. We have five here total. We're going to end up using all five, but for the first one, convert this into a bar and then use this to convert the bar into two of these so that I have those available at the end. And I'm trying to find the other one. Oh, there we go. For some reason, they're not all together. Then, as we're loading this in, now I've still only got two left, um, but what I can do is I can use two of them to make one more of these little bar things. And then this one now allows this to go down here now I've got the two that I need. That is broken in half. Look at that. That's all messed up. So that's how I should have done it. I'm sorry. And I, I'm with this game, I am going to potentially walk back a few things here and there. Now I can use my dealer ability to fulfill this uh, large corner shop. And that will get me a five. So I will move this up to five. And the dealer is done. She's going to go back down here. And I think I'm actually supposed to have a corner, one of these shops revealed. Am I not? I do know how to play this game. I really do. Yes, I am actually supposed to have an additional set of corner shop cards. Sorry. So there's that, there's that, and there's that. And I have to get six of these small ones, so I'm going to have to do some major moving around on the smalls. Uh, but now I've completed the first stage, at least, of this one. I've got my five. I've used my dealer. Uh, we're now in the cleanup phase. Uh, there's nothing else that we really do here, but we do go on to Tuesday. I'm going to get six coal this time around. I'm going to move this over here so it's a little bit more out of the way of the, these things, which I'm going to grab a couple extras. One thing I'm really not happy with, by the way, is that uh, all of my boards here, I've had this game for a while, all the boards are warped. They all have a slight warp to them, which is a little frustrating. I don't think it's how I've been keeping the game, but could be. So we're going to line these up like this. So now we're going to go ahead and pull some more employees. Uh, we've got another miner. 
We've got a clerk. Skip the next stage of one corner mark, corner shop order, uh, which actually might be really helpful. That's actually probably really helpful. The uh, except we're not going to get that person, so bummer. Uh, that is upgrade a lot of them. That is actually a really nice piece right there. No, okay, so. Um, what do I want to do here? So the ones that we're not going to get are that and this character. Duplicate all of the chocolates on one conveyor tile. I get to do that exactly once, and that would be really helpful if we had something that really... That would allow me to double so progress at Salter's Emporium if I had some yellows to work with. I could do this, which the problem is I don't really have any doubles um, that I'm going to be able to do. I think my best bet is this piece right here, which I can move here. I'll put that one there. It's going to be awkward, I think. And then I'm going to take the fresh fancy guy. Let's pull the rest of these pieces off. So this will allow me to skip a stage of a corner shop. Which means I might do that with the small here. So I can move on to another small. Sorry, I didn't have to do it that way. The reason I'm putting these face up underneath is that it's just easier to see the, how close we are to the end. Um, da -da -da, which we only really have to worry about. Alright, so let's load up some chocolate here. Alright, first thing that we're going to do is move this this way. Unfortunately, there's not much else I can do with this, this piece right here. I could upgrade it, but I think I'm going to leave it alone because I can actually use that as uh, coal for this turn. Uh, so what I am going to do is I'm going to use one coal to convert, convert this to chocolate. I can use this to then convert that to double. Do I want to do that? I don't want to do that yet. All right, so this is going to go this way. This is going to end up down here. I'm then going to use two coal, or sorry, one coal to convert this to one of these, and then use two coal to convert this into, I'm going to do two, I'm going to do two reds here, I think. Is there a way that I can get... I don't think there there is. This can come back this way. Uh, in addition, I can do I can convert this to I don't think there's anything else I want to do quite yet. I am going to hold off on this. I'm going to push this forward one. And I'm going to use the remaining, uh, the cocoa that I have here, the cocoa bean and the charcoal, and basically convert that to two of these. And I have been a little slack. I'm playing this completely wrong. I wonder if I should just start over. I'm not going to, but I've really messed this up. Uh, so I forgot to reveal the additional demand. So that I should have revealed on day one. That is department store times one, department store times one, department store times one. And that is uh, demand for specific products there. Uh, so we're not doing great here by any stretch of the imagination. Um, 
Yeah, we're really not doing great at all. Uh, so I don't think there's anything that I can do here. I can skip the five here, thanks to my clerk action. And so I won't have to deal with this smaller item here, but I will have to get this up here. So we're going to move the clerk uh, back under here, and we're going to start day on Wednesday. We're going to get these. We're going to reveal an additional factory manager. I should have been doing this at the beginning of each turn. That's why I was thinking that, you know, I should really just start over. So now we're up to eight corner shops, and we haven't fulfilled any of them yet. So we're not doing well. We've got some employees here. We're not going to be able to use our expert operator because the, it, today is Wednesday, so we don't get the Salter one. That's crude. All right, so this, we can just move here. This can move down here. All right, so we've got something that will upgrade to, oh, that's actually a really nice one because that's only for one. And it will take one of our things here and convert it to yellows which might be really helpful. Uh, we've got this, which for two will convert one of these to two of any type. We've got this, which will for two convert one bean to a bar of any type. That's actually a huge plus right there. Uh, this is duplicate the chocolate on any conveyor belt. This is fulfill one stage of a corner shop using one I think that's who we're actually going to go with because we'll be able to knock this one of these two out uh, pretty easily and then the piece that we want is going to be I think this one because it is so cheap and we can put that right there all right and then the rest of these come back here uh, it's been a while since I've played this, and I think that is showing. Like, I really don't have any idea how I'm actually going to improve any of this. I really don't. Uh, that's all good. Let's get there. All right, so we're going to get three more chocolate. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to move this along. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take this, goes down into our coal, and we're going to be able to use that as just additional coal. I'm going to swap these out for six coal total. These are th uh, three coals each. Uh, let's see. Oh, this should have been on this right here. Uh, can't do anything with these because this won't convert the right type unfortunately we could upgrade them but I think I want to hold off till we get to here because one of these is going to be able to uh, convert quite a bit into yellows I really should have gone with the other um, I'm, like I said I'm making mistakes left and right left and right I'm making mistakes we're going to use We're going to use one to upgrade this to a cocoa, but we're going to hold off for now before we do anything else with it. I'll move these along. These will all join down. Oh, actually, we want to go ahead and use one coal to upgrade one of these to two of these. Um, we're also going to use one coal to upgrade this to a barred one. We're going to use this to upgrade this bar one to two reds. Uh, we're then going to move this whole thing along. We're going to keep that as is. Oh, and we were going to have all these come down here. Uh, we're going to have these come down here. should have upgraded this before. Yeah, because I could have. Sorry, like 
I said, I'm going to fudge some of this. Uh, and then we're going to use three of these to get this into two more reds. And that is the end of our turn. So now we can do this with one fewer reds than we would normally need. So we're going to get 12 here. Uh, so we can move this up to 17. Uh, thank you for your service. You only get to use these actions once, unfortunately. Unless it says expert, in which case it'll say multiple times. Uh, and then what else can we fulfill? We can fulfill the first part of this, which I'm not really wild about. Let's go ahead and start fulfilling some of these, though. We're going to need to start adding to this. So we can get two here for the two yellows. Uh, we can get two here for the two bars. Can't do anything with the reds yet. We could move this up to one. Now, the way that this works is that these are accumulative. So you have to have, you have to account for each of these. So because these each say two, you have to go down to when you're at the end of the game to determine whether or not you did it. Let's say I wanted these two to count as my two. I would slide these down off, and now there's nothing there. Now when I go to count this three, I still need three of these to be at least at, be at least one. Uh, so I will need to start adding, uh, increasing the amounts here. I want to keep these reds for selling on this next level here, um, but I do, I'm worried about trying to get some of these smalls. I don't have any smalls yet. I don't know how I'm going to get those um, based on what I've got. But we're on... Thursday. We're almost through half the game. Uh, this time we're not going to get fresh fancy. Operator, move a chocolate from one conveyor tile. Take four coal. That's actually really good. I feel like that could be really helpful this round. Uh, now we're going to get start to get some really, really hard high-end pieces of equipment here. Uh, this is really useful. I think... <sighs> Trying to figure out the best place to put it. Okay, let's get rid of the one I can't use. So that's that I can't use, and I can't use the director. Um, what I really need is a way to start getting blues. I'm supposed to put one thing on here, right? It's just one bean. The double bean thing is kind of weirding me out. Yeah, as far as I can tell, it's just one bean. I think I gotta go with this. And I'm gonna put it at the end, unfortunately. You know what? I want this instead, and I wanna put it here. I wanna overlay that. Because now it's going to be a lot cheaper to upgrade to reds. And then I can upgrade to red and also upgrade it to a blue on the same turn. Just do it in this order. Uh, and then I think I'm going to take four coal. I think I'm just simply going to take the extra coal because I really need it. Four. Let's move these all back down to the bottom.
Okay, so the first thing that we're doing is we're moving this forward. And we're going to go ahead and spend one to, or spend two, to upgrade this to a red, and then one to upgrade, get in there, there we go, this to a blue. These can come down here. This will help me finish off this right here. Which that should be there. Um, then I think we'll push this forward. Oh no, before we push this forward, we're going to spend one more to upgrade this to this. And then upgrade that. Yeah, we'll upgrade these two to upgrade this to two bars. All right, we're now going to slide this forward. This will come down here. I do have a cunning plan. I know it doesn't seem like it. Uh, let's see, we can't really do anything with this here, but that's okay because I don't want to. Uh, I will use this to upgrade to a yellow. And we'll go ahead and just leave this as is because I think I'm going to want some... Ah, uh, no, because we're going to have plenty. We're going to use this to upgrade to two more bars. That's three total coal there that I used. And then we'll slide this forward. We're going to have one there to turn the bar into two yellows. And then we'll use one more to upgrade this to a yellow as well. Do I want to do that? No, we're going to use one, one here, one here, and one here, I think. That work? Yeah. For the remaining three. So this will, for one, we turn this into two yellow. Uh, for one, we'll turn this into a yellow. And for one, we'll turn this into a that. These all come down here. All right. So now we fulfill some orders. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use this to fulfill our small order here. That's going to bring us up to 24. We'll go ahead and move that to completed orders. We'll pull another. Oh, man, the smalls here are killing me. Um, we'll use these three to complete this order. That moves us up to another 12. Uh, I'm not worried about completing the money amount because I have to get 40 total but by the I mean there's no way that I'm not going to get 40 if I'm doing all of these uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do at the bars but I can use two more to go up to four here uh, I can't do anything with this red uh, so we'll leave it at that so we're moving on to Friday like I said I don't think I'm playing this game very well Friday we're not going to be able to use this employee down here at the end uh, decorator will allow me to upgrade one can chocolate anywhere, which is actually really nice. And then we're going to get some additional pieces here. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, let's go. So first of all, we can't use this one, and we're not going to keep the director. So they're going to go to the bottom. We are going to take this times three here. Uh, we're going to put that here. Um, that means we lose these other ones. I think we're going to use this. And you'll see why. And the other ones all go to the bottom. And I keep forgetting to uh, reveal these. So that's three red, and that last one gets revealed as well. Not looking good. 
Okay, so we're gonna get three more of these. I honestly do not know how I'm supposed to get those that, those three sixes. I mean, I'm not even close to completing. I have to get eight small orders, and I just don't see how I'm supposed to how I'm supposed to be able to do that. But first, we're gonna load these forward. I'm gonna stop whining like a little baby. Uh, the first thing I'm doing is I'm going to go ahead and use two to upgrade this to two red. I'm then going to use my decorator ability to go ahead and convert one of these to blue. And then I'm going to go ahead and use the three to multiply this by three. I think that is correct. You don't do it for everything on the on the board. I've discovered the hard way. Uh, you have to do it for one item. Just checking here really quick, make sure that I'm not doing that wrong. Yeah, triplicate a piece. It means you you do that for a single piece of chocolate. Uh, we'll move these down here, and we'll go ahead and slide that up. Move all these down here, so at least we can complete one of the damn orders. Uh, and I also should have used this to upgrade this. Uh, so I can repeat that process. So we're going to use five total, which we don't have. Uh, I can't do any more. Yeah, we're not going to have enough to do that. Uh, at the very least, I can convert this, that into that and this into two more reds. Which, again, just doesn't really feel like it's... Uh, instead of red, you know what? Let's keep that as is. We'll use the other two to upgrade this into two more bars. And hopefully get some yellows out of there. And this will move form forward, move this down to here, and that'll just simply be coal for us on the next turn. Uh, let's fulfill another large, and that'll give us another 22. So now we're at uh, 58. So we'll move here, and we get one of these 50 cent coins, which big whoop. Uh, I honestly don't know what I'm doing at this point. I really don't. I feel like I have completely botched this beyond repair. I'm going to go ahead and just sell this for one more here. And I think that's it. I think that's all I'm going to do. Uh, we're on the last turn. We might as well just go ahead and finish this up. But this, this game has not gone well at all. I think there's something I'm fundamentally not understanding about this game in terms of how it operates. We have access to all of these, by the way. Uh, now, I think on the final day, you can just do whatever you need to. Uh, you can just run, keep running this until you're done. Uh, let's go ahead and... Yeah, we'll go ahead and get this piece here. We'll line up three more of these. Some chocolates. There we go. Like, we're not even going to come close to finishing. That's the thing. Uh, I could go with the decorator. Yeah, I mean, I'm really not sure what else I can do. Go with the decorator, I guess. I don't think it really matters. This is going to come forward. I'm going to upgrade one of these to two of these for one coal. Uh, all of this will come down here. Uh, let's see, we can 
Do we need three? We don't need, we do need three reds. I'm just going to go ahead and use the two. Use two to upgrade this to one red. We'll go ahead and use one three to upgrade this to two. To that. We'll slide this forward. We'll get this down here. We'll go ahead and use the three here to add two more of these. That should be there. We'll go ahead and, I mean, we've got nothing else that we can really use. We can use this, this, and I guess this, but I mean, big whoop. Like, we're, we're just not gonna, we're not even gonna come close. Use each of these as coal. And that will convert this into two more of these. And because it's the last day, we just basically take whatever's on the conveyor belt at the end of this. Uh, we have nothing else that we can really do. So we'll go ahead and fulfill our last large shop order for another 22 to bring us to uh, 30. I think that gets rid of three of those. I'm going to go ahead and count. I, I think I've lost count here a little bit, but I'm going to count this as a completed order as well for 11. Uh, 41. I'm going to count these three for one of my demands. Uh, and then I'm going to count these yellows. Uh, we're going to just go ahead and bring this up to seven. Actually, I think I've messed. No, there we go. That's fine. Seven. And that's it. And that's it. We, we didn't even come close. I'm not even going to do the counting on this one. I'm not sure what happened here. Um, I've played this before, and I don't think I've ever done this badly at it, uh, to be honest. Uh, I I don't know if these are cumulative. Like, if I have to have nine small shop orders total, I just don't see how I would have come up with enough chocolate to do that. Uh, so, again, I think I might be missing something, but, man, this did not go well. Uh, but that's the way it goes. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, and sometimes you break even. And today was definitely a loss, uh, so I will see you tomorrow. Uh, do all the YouTube things, and uh, let me know what your favorite candy bar is, if you have one. And with that, ciao.